Yes, sir. Would you be a prop? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, I need to bring, could someone bring a, a chair? I, I need you to sit on the stage. And I need everyone to imagine that other Shava is flanked by then Baroness Anne of Norris Kogan and then Baroness Deirdre of Windhaven. This is important. It is the Baroness Wim turning at Warriors and Warlords. Oh, many moons ago, at this point, at least 15 years? Do we want to estimate that or do we not want to count? It's probably 20. Okay. We don't want to count. <laughs> we are still a principality, that's enough to know. And I am still a relatively young but loudmouthed herald, and I think that the Baroness Wind Attorney is a nifty idea and funny, and this is the second or third year I've gotten to herald it on the field. So I am the field herald for the Baroness Wind Tourney, and it is a hot day. This is Dub Dub. It's July. The sun is pouring down, and Bastion is running around in a cow tabard, and and I don't even remember everything else. The important part, the important part, is the water bearers come, and they leave containers of water on the corner of the stage. Now I want you to remember the three women. Who were sitting on the stage? Ella Shava, Baroness of Yarra Bettler, Deidre, Baroness of Windhaven, and Anne Jeffries of Warwick, Baroness of Nordskoga. At an appropriate moment, I call a hold, and I say to the fighters, Fighters, it is hot! It is sucking the moisture from your bodies! You must hydrate! There are jugs on 